Welcome back to me roasting you based on what your favorite Halloween candy is. Let's go. If your favorite is Swedish fish, your girl dinner would consist of microwave nachos. But you also have a surprising amount of taste for someone whose favorite flavor is Red 40. And if it's Three Musketeers, you've recently acquired a crippling amount of debt due to a simple card game. Whether it's poker or Magic the Gathering, you tell me. Next is these caramel apple pops, and of course if these are your favorite, you used to spend all of your time reading as a child. But now that you're older, you just spend all of your time reading bad fan fiction, because all of your favorite series are gone. But if you made the sophisticated choice of having M&Ms as your favorite, when you tell people you're a film critic, you're talking about the fact that you've seen all 151 episodes of Bluey, which honestly, props. And finally, if your favorite is Mr. Goodbar, then you may look unassuming, but secretly, you're the world champion of Bop It. So I guess the only question now is, does Phil feel lucky? JK, it's actually what candy should I do next?